Hey guys, what's up? This is Shirt Talking. Welcome back to my channel. Well, this video is not exactly yet to celebrate the 1000 subscribers. I'll be doing this later, uh, probably by tomorrow. But I will just thank you for your continued support. Thank you for supporting this channel. Thank you for just subscribing and watching all my videos. This makes uh, this means a lot for me, okay? So, well, let's just talk about this event. I had this video recorded before, but I had some problem with the audio because I forgot to lower the volume of the game, so I have to do this yet again. But don't mind, I'll be doing this for the community. And, well, it's the Valhalla Assault number 6. This event here is very important, it's the best event that the game has. It gives a lot of good resources for the players to get stronger, especially newbies, but also the, or, uh, the veterans as well. So what difference has this, uh, the Valhalla Assault number 6 compared to the 50? Well, there's two new characters that you can get because there's uh, Odin, the, the Odin from Valhalla, Valkyrie Anatomia version. We can click here on Exchange Boots so we can see. It's the first thing that we need to talk. Uh, it's Gunginir, this Gunginir artifact, it's, uh, it's what gives you Odin, so Odin is not exactly a good character, because Odin was released on Japanese version what, what around 6 months or 7 months on the game, and there uh, he was still not strong even compared to the other characters, and he costed a, a lot more than, than in this version, he used it to cost 1.5k of the coins, now he's only costing 1k, so... Um, he can act like an off tank, but he doesn't have the status to support it uh, uh, the correct way, just like Arngreen could be doing. So even people without Arngreen can rely on this guy at all, so Klaus is still your answer for tanking. So besides this, we have another artifact to get here, it's the Rose Corsage. Rose Corsage is the artifact for Amelia. Amelia is the character that you get on the third day on your Begner login bonus. Amelia is very powerful, she's a good character to be used. If you're lacking characters from the Dark Element, she's a good addition to the squad, and she's also very good to inflicting a normal attack damage and purify attack damage. She's a character with the F activate as well, so getting an orb will make a lot of difference for her. And I really recommend you guys to get uh, this artifact to get your immediate stronger than getting Odin. Odin will only give you some more gems because he has side quests. This Odin here. It's just for side quests, he's just for gems, at least for me. And I'll be getting two artifacts on this event. I'll be choosing this Amelia and either Shiho or Mercurius. Probably Mercurius because I have a lot of weapons that are physical and have words and great swords. It is easier to equip. And also Mercurius get more damage if you know how to use him. But Shiho is uh, more recent than Mercurius. If you're thinking about damage alone, uh, Shiho is usually better. But only do this after you get the second artifact from Leon, because Leon is just so good that you need to get Leon and her orb. So that's are my recommendations from the artifacts. And well, all the things about the, the, the Valhalla South action boot are still the same. Uh, when you go here, we see that they have the bronze ring, iron ring and wood ring. These are used to upgrade the, the artifact of the Valhalla South characters, but don't get here because you can get these rings from towers. These are very uh, waste of resources if you spend your Odin coins with this. Don't use it. And also this Awakening Ember with the Odin coins, don't get it. Get this one, this two here that you get with badges. Awakening period you can skip unless you have remaining. Uh, you get also the Venom Weapon Ticket Gold with, only with the badges. Uh, the same thing as the silver. Now we have the Nameless Hero Memory. It's very costly to get this on Valhalla Assault. So don't get it. And then uh, Stamina Potion is very recommended to get because it pays off. And then just get the 5 star and 4 star version of the hammers with the remaining badges that you may get from the event. Okay? So this is covers everything and if you see remaining with some things just get some of other hammers and then this orb of enhancing. Because orbs are more limited than other things like gold and rainbow keys. Okay, so this covers all the things about the shop. Now we need to talk about the weapons. The weapons are very important to talk. So, well, uh, talking about the weapons here, uh, this banner only has weapons. You can summon any type of artifact here. You have 1% chance of getting either the Ravine or the Burn Scatter. But I don't recommend you guys to summon this banner. I really don't because the weapons, um, only the Ravine is very good. The Burn Scatter is a, uh, a weapon that's not very good, it's the only one that it gets guaranteed on the banner. 
And Burn Scatter is the first one we will be talking about. The Burn Scatter uh, is a fireball, the third one we get in a row, and that's specifically uh, why this is not that good to get. First of all, it's very uh, similar to the Roshways. The Roshways is a Thunderbolt we got on the third Valhalla South. We are on the sixth one now, so uh, they are very similar, but the Roshways was an uh, uh, older weapon. It has less status compared to this one, but it works the same. Well, uh, Burn Scatter has Fire Encantment large, so it, give, it will give you like 20 or 25% increase on your damage with all the things that you do, like normal attack, purify attack, and also uh, action skill. So the problem here is that it deals severe damage, just like the Roshways, and you can only use it twice, so it's a very old weapon, just release it now. And it's the one that you get from Guarantee. So then we have Ravine. Ravine is a very special weapon and it's very good, guys. Just like the past event, we got the best one. That Graschiato was a, just a so wonderful weapon to have because it was a support type weapon. This one is also support. And it has the ice element. It's a sword type of the um, sword of the ice element. The, 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 the action skill is called the Ravine as well. So we have to check the information here. I will just go to my screen so I can show you. It's equipped on my Eventide Hockery. This word here works very well with Eventide Hockery, but she won't be using her limited skill Genesis game because Genesis game gives more damage with action skill. But this compensates because Ravine also has Ice Encantment large, so her normal attacks will do more damage, uh, like I said, around 20 or 25% increase. On my test, I had 25% increase, but some other people saying it's more around 20. But it's very nice if you have 6 attacks with this Hakuri. It's just like you're dealing more than 7 at normal attacks if you had other weapon. Because it's just so much increase in damage. And then we have the, the Ravine skill. It's called... Uh, it improves all status of your squad members, but it also recovers a moderate amount of HP. So it's the same thing as the Death Graciato. It's very strong to heal. You can get um, around 7k healing if your squad has around 60 or 70k HP. It's just a lot. It's more for the healing than for the buff because uh, we're testing this on the community. I didn't have the time to check with the community again, but they said that the buff is inferior to Schveltlight, but the healing is way stronger. So you have to trade off here. You have to get more HP instead of buff. But if you are using the Schveltlight as a support position, you can still use this one on long fights after you run out of Schveltlights. It's very, very nice and you get five copies of this if you farm uh, 1 million points on this event. You have to farm. It's not hard to do it and I'll talk about the farming later. So get this Ravine here. Make your main weapon if you don't have another ice weapon with your Hakuri. It also works well with Lenny and also works well with uh, the original Hakuri. Even better with the original Hakuri because the original Hakuri doesn't have anything related to action skill. But I'm using it with my Eventide because I failed to get uh, Solo Atix, her weapon from her banner. And I don't have another thing like Avalanche's sword, or in my aiding is not that strong because it's action skill level one. Okay, so talking about the weapons is done. So now talking about the stages, we have the same three stages, but there are some new things here. Um, well, let's just click on the first one, the blue. We have different type of characters back on here. There is a great sword user, but the enemies are actually weak to staffs. So uh, if you're a starting player, you can just use Lucia to deal some more damage here. The enemies are weak to both fire and uh, ice, so Lucia is still uh, hitting for the two weakness of the enemies. And then if you have a three wall queen, you just dominate the stage, because even if she's from lightning element, she will do a lot of damage. Then uh, we have to talk about the bonus here, so we can understand better. Um, the first stage had Vargo and Lucia back on, and the third one has Valva Luis. All the others are Gacha characters. And it's uh, uh, very funny that we have two versions of the Eventide Hakori. She's here and also here as well, because she is considered like two different characters. The original and the uh, dif different type of uh, char uh, artwork character. So uh, this is the original and this is the this this the official version. So well, uh, let me just talk about the, the this the stuff this new here. Uh, the characters have new bonus now. The the past versions only give you half the value of the bonus. Now we have the double, uh, the same values of bonus. This Valvolis has 100% damage plus and 30 yellow badge. Just comparing her, uh, comparing Valvolis to other characters, just like. Um, 
let me see here, Eventide Hawkward also has the same bonus, you see uh, here, 100% damage plus and 30 of the red badges, so now closing this stuff here, uh, it's very easy to clear the red, red, um, the red stage now, because, well, uh, you can use Eventide Hawkward here, the, the original one, and also use Loki or Lenny, or other characters with swords, you do a lot more damage because the enemies are weak to swords. And this is, is usually the most hard stage because the boss here inflicts a lot of bad status like Paralyze and Poison and as, if I remember correctly he also uh, casts Curse and makes it easier because sword users are most common and more powerful than Staff or Bow users. So this makes it even easier for people that has the correct setup. So uh, talking about this stuff here, the, the correct way to just play the stages are to farm enough to get 5,000 on the start, just like all the quest versions. You start by getting 5,000, let me check there. Here, the first one you get is the Burn Scatter, and then you get another event weapon with a 50, refine, equip the two weapons and just use them. Limit break revive, but uh, I'm not limit breaking the burn scatter because I don't think it's worth. And then you just get all others revives just like this one and equip so you can stack more bonus. Remember, only one weapon per character you can use then on sub weapons, the bonus will stay the same. So just get one uh, uh, burn scatter, three revives, and run this uh, build to get a lot of bonus. Just like I'm doing now, I'm using the, the revive with the main and I've entire Hakuri. And then I'm using as a sub with uh, Outveer, and then I'm using it as a sub as Leon, and lastly with Mercurius on the using the bird scatter on the support slot. So I get a uh, 1,250 bonus because only my Ravine is maxed. You see, it's the limit break to the max. I don't I don't want to do the limit break with the bow because there's something that I have to stalk you guys, and it's the Fire Enchantment Large didn't have a boost by using on sub when I tested. Uh, not exactly the Fire Enchantment Large, but the, using Vorpal Shade as a sub was not adding the bonus to the main weapon, so you will not get damage plus. So that's why I'm not so sure if this was fixed. I posted this on the Reddit, so that on the Discord actually, so that the devs could just see, but I don't know if they fixed it or not, so I don't recommend you guys invest on this bow before you knew it. If it is works um, as a sub slot, you can use it just by using another weapon like Hala Hala as a main and this is a sub, it will just increase the damage, but we're not so sure if this works, so uh, don't invest on this unless you want another bow or have a lot of embers. Then uh, let's just talk about the ranking, the ranking is just um, a little a little more of the same, just the same things, I don't see anything different in here, and it's easy to get some more uh, Odin coins from it, because the, the rankings are very spaced out, you have uh, you get a lot of Odin coins even by not ranking that high. Uh, as you see, uh, the points getting to 500 and up to 1k gets you more than 1000 Odin medals, and all other Odin medals that you get from... Uh, Contribution points and the daily missions will give you enough to get two artifacts. So uh, even if you rank uh, here uh, by doing uh, 1500, you may still get two artifacts. So this is very doable to everyone playing the game. I think even here 500 to 1k is enough and very easy to get. So just uh, try to get 2 million points, you probably land here at least, or here at least. Okay, so this is the talk about the ranking. And lastly, let's just talk about all the remaining things about the contribution rewards. Like I said, it's the same as the past version. When you get to 1 million, you get this, the last of the Ravines, and then you get Fire Blessing and also Ice Blessing. You can use this with the characters that already have this as a start, so this makes um, the last upgrade less costly. But you can also use this to give someone that doesn't have any can skill as well. And then it's very good things here like Key of Guidance, some gems, Gold Mark 3, and lastly some more Bronze Scrolls on the last. Yeah, the last rewards are just Bronze Scrolls, I don't think this is worth. But then um, it's just that. And well, let, let me know if there's more things to talk about. I think there is not. Um, just play this event, you will get to 2 millions. And keep farming if you really need some more stuff. If you don't, just get the good things, focus on getting Amelia, 
or Leon artifact, they are very good and they are very useful. Or Shiho, Mercurius for last, if you already have the character. So the character adds a character slot on his party assist. So he's still uh, very good and recommended if you don't have him. Okay? Well, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't, and we'll see each other on the next video. The next one will be about the 1,000 subscribers. Thank you a lot. We'll see each other on the next video. Bye.